Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video. This one's not for a challenge or anything. I'm just trying to use some more of my How to Kill a Kit with Style goodies for this month, which is the Felicity Jane uh, Amber collection. I have this photo of Marcus and I on a date. I really didn't know which of these photo or papers went really well with it. So I pretty much set the photo aside and just looked at the papers and what I wanted to use for the next page. I had a scrap of this blue solid and I had it laying on this floral from the collection. I just thought the green and this floral looked so beautiful together. I knew that needed to be my next page. Right off the bat, I knew I was going to gut the middle of this floral to save that for another page and fill the gap with this green and have that be the base of my 12 by 12. So I'm just trying to lay that out really quick. But I love this green and this floral together. <laughs> and I always, like, I can't help myself. Whenever I have Felicity Jane, I'm like, don't use the floral as a background because it can get busy. Use it in chunks, use it as a border. And I never take my own advice. And pages do really come out looking cool using the floral as the full background. But I always tell myself that it would look a lot less busier and you could get this floral on more pages if you wouldn't do that. So this was a nice opportunity for me to just use it as a nice bold border so you can really see the floral but still have a huge chunk left over for a layer on a future page. So I'm already excited about that. Um, the photo, I just decided I needed to get it scrapped. It was next in my line to get scrapped chronologically, so um, I'm just going to use it. I don't think the colors are too distracting. Uh, the photo is very like brown and yellow because it's in this really cool local burger shop we have in downtown Kennesaw. It's called Burger Fi. It's right next to a Civil War train museum, right next to the railroad tracks, and there is... Um, an open roof on the top where you can sit on the top if you want. It's a really cool area, really cool atmosphere. Their burgers and their fries are so good. And so this is just one of our date nights when we go here. We don't go here all that often, um, but when we do, it's always kind of a treat. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I documented it because I, I haven't documented this place yet. And um, I think it's really cool. They like brand their name and their logo on the tops of the burgers. And I just think that's really cool. Um, and th their fries, they give you like a giant boat. So Marcus and I get one serving of the fries and we just split them. And they have Cajun fries and they're so good. <sighs> Anyways, I'm sorry if I'm making anyone hungry. Now I'm going to want to go there again. <laughs> but I decided that I was just going to pull in a couple branding strips uh, and have them go horizontally across the page. I think it looks really sweet. It's like a belt that's buckling in my page just to keep it all together. I don't know. I just really like it. And because I am using the multicolor floral, I'm trying to use this opportunity to get um, multi the multicolor heart branding strip used up. So I think that looks really nice. I just stacked it on either side with the pink plaid to kind of pull in the pink of the floral. But then the pink plaid was kind of blending into the floral, so then I decided to take this yellow striped branding strip and stack that down there as well. So really finicky work with these skinny branding strips, but I think it looks really cool how they're all stacked together to make this horizontal band. Um, and I used three branding strips, so that's awesome. <laughs> I think I only have two branding strips left, which is nice. I always love when I can get those used up. Um, so I think that's a really cool element, having all of that going horizontally. I love how it pulls in a lot of the colors from the florals. Um, there's a lot of this floral pattern in the ephemera bits as well. I know there's a puffy um, border sticker that has this floral. I know there's a tag that has this floral. So I'm going to really try and use up a couple of those things on this page since I do have this floral as this big border. Again, this banner, this whole branding strip thing was super finicky, trying to get it glued down with those skinny strips, but I think I got it. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to have the photo kind of there coming out from these um, horizontal bits. I don't know if I'll have the photo tucked in or sitting on top. Um, I usually have lately been liking tucking my photos into these horizontal bits, but I think on this page I'm going to have them layering on top because I don't want to cut off any of the burger or the fries that you can see on the bottom of this photo. <laughs> um, but now that I kind of have my background down, I kind of have my placement, I really need to figure out what I'm going to do. I had no idea at this point, so I always start by pulling in all of the ephemera bits that um, coordinate anything I can use. So I'm going through my pocket cards, ephemera, these puffy stickers, anything like that, anything that's in the color scheme, um, I'm going to pull. I'm pulling some multicolor things just because this is a more multicolor page, um, but a lot of these multicolor things had the aqua in it, 
and I was trying to stay away from that since I'm using the green instead. I really wanted to focus on the colors that were already in the floral and not introduce any more colors. So that's why I decided not to use um, the ephemera bits and stuff that had the blue. I have this scrap of a pocket card from a previous page that's just plain white. And I had this gap I wanted to kind of beef up a little bit. I took this pocket card, a tag, a label, and layered them together next to the photo. I think that's a really cool focal point and I, it's, it would be really easy for me to do my title or my journaling there. Um, so I just cut a scrap of this white banner to kind of fill it in a little bit and cover up some gaps from where I was layering all this stuff up. Um, so I really like how that's looking. I am going to pop this label up on some foam. Um, but I do know that there is um, a huge gap behind this whole cluster now, behind the photo and all this ephemera stuff I'm sticking down that I do want to gut some of the solid to have on a future layout. I love the solids that come with Felicity Jane and because they are double-sided, they have dual purposes <laughs> with the colors and uh, I really do like pulling those in on all of my Felicity Jane pages. So any bit I can save from the solids, I want to save. So I will go in and gut that really quick. I started gluing stuff down and then I was like, oh no, I need to gut. So <laughs> I'm trying to take everything off here. Um, I'm leaving those two bits on for a second just so I can see spatially where I can gut. Um, I'm trying to see how far I can gut over, but then you'll see me kind of pull this stuff up. I'm trying to figure out how to leave it down, but um, I just need to take it off so I can gut everything. So there we go. And again, just trying to see where I can gut. <laughs> there's nothing worse than when you're gutting and you gut too much and then you can see the hole through your layers. I mean, there's always a way to cover that up, but I'm always trying to be careful I don't gut too much. But I'm really glad I have that bit to use on a future page. Um, and then again, I'm just going to patch this hole with a scrap piece of black paper just so I have um, a backing to still glue all these layers down onto. And then I will go ahead and put everything pretty much down how I had it before. I really liked how those layers were stacked up. Um, it's kind of a different way for layering for me. Usually I don't have them laid out like that. So like deconstructed, usually they're tighter clusters and overlapped more. But for whatever reason, I, when I stacked them up like this, I think it looks kind of cool. It's a little different, um, but I think it's fun. So again, just gluing this stuff down how I had it. I just put some plain white twine through this tag. Um, I don't have any black on this page, so I was really trying not to introduce any black, so that's why I went with the plain white twine. I know I've been using my black and white twine a lot this the past couple months. <laughs> um, but yeah, just gluing everything down, and then again, I'm going to have this little label up on some dimensional foam, just so there's a little bit of um, dimension. <laughs> there's a lot of flat things right now that are all layered on top of each other, but aren't giving you very much texture or depth, so adding that... Um, foam squares behind the label kind of helps with that. And then again, I was like, oh, I have this puffy border that's the same floral. Where can I kind of stack it up? So I decided to stack it up next to this pocket card. And then it looked really weird going up under <laughs> this banner because it wasn't laying flat and I didn't want to cut the border, um, the puffy border. So then I shift a couple things just so it lines up how I wanted without having to trim anything. <laughs> Uh, so that worked okay. And then I still have this pocket card with these three hearts. I love these three hearts. I love that it brings the more orangey coral in from the collection and mixes it with this pink. And because all of these colors are represented in this floral, I thought it would be a really good chance to get all of these hearts on a page. I knew from the beginning I was probably going to fussy cut all of these hearts. I don't know why I just didn't do that immediately, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And there's three of them. So I was like, okay, right away, I can create a visual triangle by having these three hearts um, basically triangulating my photo. So I'm just trying to figure out, I know I want one near this tag, um, one up on the top because I'm pretty sure now that's where my title will go. There's that huge area of the plain green solid up there. So I, I want to fill that with my title. And then with having those two there, the most um, logical place for the third to be in order to triangulate the photo would be on the opposite side of the photo from those. So that's how I created a visual triangle with them. I shift them a little bit trying to figure out which color looks best where. Um, but I'm happy with how those are sitting. Again, I'm going to pop those up on some foam as well. Uh, this more orangey one I had to because it was going over this uh, label, but I think it looks really cool having all of them popped up because it makes all the hearts have some dimension and kind of pop up at you. And I thought it was sweet because it's date night and I have some hearts on the page and Marcus just looks so darn cute. So I just thought it all went together really nicely. <laughs> and now I'm going in with my title. 
I knew I wanted to call this date night. I really wanted to call it Burger Fi because it's the name of the restaurant, but I couldn't find any alphas that I had all the letters I needed. So I'm just calling it date night. It fit in there perfectly with these smaller, um, I think these are Chamel. They're American crafts, but it's called Happy Life. And I love this little, little white text. And you have a whole sheet of white and a whole sheet of navy. So you get a ton of alphabets with that pack. <laughs> um, but I'm shifting everything over just to fit in an exclamation point. And then I ended up going through my alphas and I, then I actually did happen to find a white foam alpha that did have all the letters that I needed. So then I decided to go back and also add Burger Fi. So together it reads Burger Fi Date Night. Um, I really wanted to get this label on here because it's the same pink plaid that I've used. I used the branding strip and this pocket card of this pink plaid. I really wanted to get it used up there in the upper left hand corner. But after I got this title down, I really didn't feel the need to put anything up there. So I'll save that for a future layout. It's a nice generic pink color that goes with the rest of this collection. So even if I'm not using it with other pink plaid things, it should still work out well. Um, so I'm just going through these alphas. I had to use two different packs to get all the um, letters I need, but I think it worked out well. And I'm really glad I have the name of the restaurant on here as well. And now that I do have the name of the restaurant on here, there's really no need to journal. It's kind of self-exploratory, burger fry date night, and a cute little picture of Marcus. So I'm actually not going to journal. If I change my mind, I do have this white tag I can journal on. I have this pink pocket card I can journal on. So there's always that option. I kind of left that available for me. Uh, I always kind of thought I would have journaled on the white, uh, white banner um, but again I didn't want to pull in black and I just didn't want to have to go through all my markers to find a coordinating color <laughs> and so I just left it as is because to me I really don't need journaling but I, I have the option if I change my mind down the road um, so there is that I do want a finishing touch I I thought I was going to use my bubblegum pink nuvo drops the color actually matched really nicely but that color is really really old and the nuvo drops are getting to the point where they're kind of too stiff and they're not forming the round bubbles like normal they're just forming really stiff peaks and not settling well so i decided to go with enamel dots instead i have a couple packs that have some coordinating colors so i'm just doing a cluster of um kind of this uh, light coral, a pink and a green, just to keep with the color scheme I already have. But again, just uh, emphasizing this visual triangle, I'm trying to have these enamel dots around where these three hearts are, just so it keeps your eye bouncing around that visual triangle. But I think after that, I'm pretty much done. So it was a pretty simple page. It came together really quickly. It's kind of, it is weird the way I did my embellishment cluster because I usually don't lay them out like that. Um, but I think it helped fill in this space really nicely. And I'm glad I got all these different floral bits used up. So here are the close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.